suffering and oh, yeah. and it's fine because oh, whatever. Oh, you have to pay more money. No, I have to clear things off my hard drive. Oh. What you should have turned in yesterday or be turning in now is 5.1.1, 5.1.2, and 5.2.1. Those three assignments are what should be turned in. You don't need your Chromebook open yet. Yes, it is 95 feet two. We were looking for that took some stuff out of here and deleted it. Yeah, I need to pass stuff back. We're going to do uh, like Desmos. Yes. Yes. Then. Then. Like then. Oh, then no. I thought I had to do it. All right, let's dive in, because we only got 20 minutes to record. This first problem, I think some of you might enjoy a little bit too much. We are going to talk about chubby bunnies. Now, if, if you've ever played the camp or sleepover game of chubby bunny, we're not talking about how many marshmallows can you fit in your mouth. Um, although, that's pretty funny. Although, don't joke. Yes, it's you. It's so, yeah, and the way to keep it safe is they have to be in your cheeks. They can't be in your mouth. So, it's how many marshmallows can you shove in your cheeks that's going to make you look like a chubby bunny? And still say chubby bunny. Right? That's the game. But, that's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about, sadly, is Barbara's bunny. Now, Barbara's bunny, Barbara's bunny is, is a big old bunny. And her cat. Hey, I got a lot of side comments that are just screaming, I'm too immature to listen to the prompt. <laughs> that also is saying, look at me, I'm not yet a mature seventh grader. So if you can just listen to the prompt, and then I'll let you go to it. Barbara's bunny currently weighs five pounds and gains three pounds every year. Yeah, that's a lot. Let's not talk about animal health or get too involved. <laughs> Moving on. Barbara's moon... Uh, moon. Barbara's Maine Coon Cat, which is, is a real thing, really, really big breed of cats, is 19 pounds and is gaining one pound every year. What we want to know is in this crazy hyperbolic world of large animals, when will their weights be the same? I'm not taking any questions. Dive in, Joe. You know what you need to know. You have the skills. How many years? Oh, algebraic solving. If you really want a title, it's algebraic solving. Or solving with algebra. No, it's fine. What year? Like in how many years? And what then will be their weight? So right now, right now the bunny weighs five, and the rabbit weighs one. Right now. I think I said bunny twice, or I said bunny and then rabbit. Either way, I'm not sure. I said it twice. Yeah. So they're both using years, right? So that's going to be our input value, since they're both using. What would be my equation, or actually, let's start with expression. What would be the expression for the bunny, Mr. Mr. Holtz? Okay, I think that, uh, okay, the starting equation. 
5 plus 3x equals 19x. 5 plus 3x coming from the bunny's weight. And 19, sorry, what did you say? Plus x. The first step would be to subtract x. Oh, you're getting ahead of me. So this is really 1x. We don't need the 1, but for some of you, you want to put it there so you don't make a mistake in the next step. And I'll show you what that is. Penny, what would you say next then? If we subtract an x, and here's the mistake people try to make. If you just write minus x, and you're working fast, a lot of times people then do this. Because they take away the x. That's not what we're doing. That, that would be dividing, right? So if we subtract 1x, 3x is minus 1x is two x's. Now, if you can remember, this is subtracting one x, not take away the x, you're fine. But I'm just trying to show you what mistakes I've seen in the past from people. So now, five plus two x equals 19. The next step, Audrey Hudson would be? <laughs> we subtract five. Alex, that, not just because you spoke up, we now have this, right? What's our final step? Uh, divide by two on both sides. Divide by two on both sides. Now, Ellie, if we know our x, if my division's right is seven, what do I do with that now? Well, you know the figures that are going to get saved? Okay. You can plug that in to actually either of these, and they, they should be equal to, like, I could actually try it with both and just double check that my work is right. Now, wait, well, this one's probably easier, right? What's 19 plus 7? 26. What would 3 times 7 be? 21 plus 5? 26. So her cat and her bunny are apparently both going to weigh 26 pounds. So that's a good So the two of them together <laughs> weigh as much as my Siberian husky. <laughs> that's an overweight pair of animals. <laughs> yeah. Now I do have a friend with a moon, uh, I keep saying moon, with a Maine Coon cat that weighs like 20 pounds. Like it's a big cat. Have you yeah. seen like those, like, those, like, um, like those things where it's like the, like they, like someone will like feed their cat like I got really concerned for a second. Or like human I thought you were just going to say, feed really their like cat human. <laughs> Period. Like, they'll just like feed them like, um, like random I, I, I have like such a limited time, uh, even on my recording. We gotta... I think the farmer's going to take her cat and put it in the bed. Probably potentially. All right, hey peeps, let's talk about realistically what we just did. If we were talking realistically and giving like variable tiles to this, we could set up an algebra map. Right? The moves, quote unquote, that we're doing algebraically could be physical moves, right? Remove an X from both sides, remove five from both sides, like divide by two. We can do all that physically. I'm not going to make you do that because I think we're beyond that, but that's where algebra tiles could come in and help us with that. So I'm not going to read this to you because I want you to practice your careful reading. Nobody say anything for the next 120 seconds. Well, we will restart time when everybody gets quiet. I want you to try to solve this on your own. After that 120 seconds, two minutes, I mean two minutes, you can talk to each other, and we'll have time to work on practice today. Like I guarantee that. So, two minutes, solve this.
Jeremy, and we'd like you to go on and box for me and we'll be off the road. And we're done. And that's what we're doing. And your task, in case this wasn't clear, is at what point will their school populations be equal? And where this would actually matter, we're at 120 seconds now, by the way, where this would actually matter is state funding, government funding. And if you are staying up to date with what's going on in Worthington, I don't expect that you are, but we're looking at acquiring more property so we can build potentially some more school buildings. And we went to the government and said, hey, look at this population growth that's happening with us. We have this population. We're growing by this much each year, more than that. And the government said no. Said no more money for you. So this is where, like, there might just not be any money to go around, but if there's another school district that is shrinking, we would argue, like, hey, the money you're giving them, like, give it to us. We're getting bigger. So if we go to make an equation for post falls, she's joking. Uh, actually, you don't have to take two minutes, talk with each other about how we solve this and what equations we have and all of that. equation you wrote for post falls, just post falls, or what expression you wrote for them? Yes. Simon put his growth. Now, hold on. Hey, listen. This is important. Well, she didn't go into it very much, but it, your parents got an email about we are doing Donate to Dine this month instead of Dying to Donate. So instead of us telling you, hey, go eat at Chipotle because you got the money and then it'll give us some of your money. We're now saying, bring in some, some food items, like non-perishables, canned goods, boxed goods. Because there's people that can't afford to even put dinner on the table, let alone go to Chipotle. So when we're often saying, hey, go spend extra money so we can benefit. We're just asking you to bring like a can of beans or like whatever you got. So we, there's beans by the office. Bring in some food if you got extra. Don't just like clear out your cupboard. Ask your parents. Well, there might be stuff that they're like, yeah, we never use that. Take it. It's, it expires in six months or it expires in a year. Like bring that stuff in. It means a lot to people. Like people are less fortunate. You don't understand what getting a sack of groceries if somebody brings it to you, like what that actually matters to some people. Um, Crystal, what's happening at Richmond that's different than what's happening at Post Falls? Ooh, less. Like, it's shrinking. Do you have the expression that we can use for Richmond? Um, 
Yeah, now I'm actually going to write it the other way around just so I can use that negative as a minus. We currently have 1,900 students. We're going down by 15 each year. Please double check that you did not make that addition. Uh, so then, I mean, sure, that could be adding a negative, but check your equation. Well, I'll come check it, but I'm not just going to blindly put one up. You should have 1160 plus something else, and that order doesn't matter, right, on the left side. But then on the right side, your 15x needs to be negative or subtracting, however you want to write it, either subtracting or negative. What, but what's their population going to be? You still haven't told me what the population will be at that time. Okay. Mm. Once you find how long, figure out what the population will be. Yeah, there was a mistake in that one. Hey guys, if we make mistakes, you do not have to like erase. Mistakes are positive. You can put like an X through like bad work, but don't don't spend time erasing. Our group is better than positive. Hmm? Positive Wait, I have to. Mistakes are a good thing. Wait, the thing is better than positive. Your group is better than positive. No, if you want it to go up on the. Oh, you too. Solve what the population I did. will I did be. Solve That's how long. No, I did. Listen. I did. What will the population at the school be on that year? Oh, you, okay. So we're getting stuck in a funny argument because how? So you said one. Oh, one thousand six hundred. Sorry, I was thinking you were saying one thousand six. Um. All I want shown is that we substituted back in one of your I agree with you, like what you're saying, but we want to show it to substitute. Here, let me show this. Alright, Alex and Bear, Bear, bring it and I'll show it. Alex and Bear are both taking the risk and showing their solutions. So Alex wrote a tad bit smaller. So we've got our 22x plus 1160, negative 15x plus 1900. We Add 15x to both sides, we should have 37x once we've combined them. When we subtract the constants, we get 740 as the difference between the schools. We divide that by 37, get x is 20. Bear's method, same sort of thing, but he showed both steps at the same time, so be careful. He subtracted 1160 to group the constants, added 15x to group the variables, did the division, also got 20. Now, Alex and I just got stuck in kind of like a cyclical argument of me saying like, well, figure out the population. You already did it back up here. And I was like, no, but you need to. And then I realized like, oh yeah, I'm wrong. Like I'm human, I can be wrong. And my side of the argument can obviously be the wrong side. But so I'm gonna solve this again real fast to make sure we're all comfortable. But then we're gonna talk about what I was like looking to see. If you haven't put this on your paper, please do so now. I'm going to do one step at a time because I'm not quite as good as Bear yet. That was me kind of being sarcastic because I keep encouraging you to just take it slow. Now, if you take it fast, that's fine, but I'm just going to point an arrow at your work and say, like, look here. Bear's is normally pretty good. Occasionally, we'll get tripped up. And that that's not me talking to Bear. That's me talking about any.